Hello guys, Lion Prime here. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys a really useful tutorial if you like making montages, mini edits. Show you guys a really cool color correction. And uh, but before I do, let me show you what it looks like. So here's the two clips before and after. Good oh job, team. God. Get ready for the next round. Damn. Good job, oh team. God. Get ready for the next round. Damn. Okay, I hope you guys like that little color correction I got there. So, let's get this started. I'm going to show you guys a little tutorial on how I did that color correction. Okay, so, first what you want to do is insert a clip in here. This is a clip from Optic Vivo. He put up to the public for anyone to edit, so I just decided I would use it. But before you do that, your screen should like a little square box. Which one to go to is File properties and then you want to select 1280 by 720 then make this the best then apply and OK but you should still see two black bars on the side what you're going to want to do is go to right click on your clip properties and make sure maintain aspect ratio is unchecked <clears throat> so um, just in case you guys are new to this kind of stuff, this is like very beginner friendly, so just about anyone could do this. And it's in Sony Vegas 9.0. I'll make sure to put in a link in the description how to get Sony Vegas 9.0. But what you want to do is go to your video effects tab, which is located down here, color correction secondary, and desaturate highlights. What that does is, as you can see, you might not be able to know this that well, but it'll come in play in the future. You can mess with the uh, the gamma and how much desaturation you want, but I recommend just keeping it how it was already set to. And then uh, another thing you want to add, which is also under the color correction secondary tab, is boost mids. Make sure you put that in there, and you might want to put the saturation just up just a little bit, or you can just make it however you like it, or just whatever you like. So. Once you add that, you're going to want to go down to Gradient Map, and then you're going to add the color Warm. And what this does is pretty much add like the sunset effect kind of-ish thing going on. So you want to put this over, just number one, over a little bit, but make sure zero is all the way over to the left. That makes it how much you want it to fade throughout the whole video clip. So Gradient Map, Warm make the one a little bit over and you can choose pretty much whatever color you want this to be I like yellow because it fits the map the most favela and yeah you know so then once you do that you're gonna want to go to scroll down go to soft contrast this part you have to listen very closely because if you don't your clip will end up looking out right so right there that's what you don't want it looks really sloppy and just yeah I don't like it well in your opinion you might like it but I don't so you're going to make your width and height all the way, unless you kind of want the black borders on the side, but it does it automatically. And then you're going to want to make the strength, this is under the vintage tab, just in case you didn't know, make the strength just down, I would say, just to like 9.95. And since it's really bright, you want to make the contrast down just to about somewhere in between 19 and 25, I recommend. So as you can see right now, our clip's starting to look how it was in the example. If you want to play it just to see what it looks like, it looks very similar. But we're just not done, just about done yet. So another thing you want to do is go to Media Generators, click on Color Gradient, which is right here, and then put this over your clip. This is it's linear red to yellow, and it just follows exactly what I want to do, what I'm doing. So select number two put it up in the upper right hand corner and number one just click it and this thing right here make it all the way transparent and for this number two you can make it you're gonna make it kinda just semi transparent about right where I have it and change it to whatever color you want that would fit the uh, clip I'm gonna select kinda like an orangish color cuz I think it would fit and then you're gonna turn it down just about right here and that's just about that and make sure it stretches all the way through like that and then once you play your clip there you go you got that color correction I showed you um, I'll make sure to 
put like a step by step tutorial in the description just in case you didn't understand this so well so thanks for subs I mean uh, blah, blah. thanks for watching this video tutorial I hope it helped out a lot if there's some things you don't understand just leave a message in, in the, like a comment section below or send me a message or whatever uh, one of my subscribers sent me a message actually asking for a tutorial how to do this stuff so I'll make sure to add a tutorial like every weekend or during the week just let me know when you ever want one so uh, yeah thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe